It's that time of the year again, we are back to Platinum FIFA 24. And no, I'm not going to start calling it EAFC, because it just does not hit the same. Oh, of course I'm lagging there. I hate this game. 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 Changing it up since last year, this time round we're actually going to start with Ultimate Team. First things first, if you know me, I play FIFA all year round, so it was the only right start to open packs. And quickly, for the record, the trophy counter will be all over as I streamed most of this Platinum over on my Twitch, so make sure you go follow me there, I am live every day. So I was switching modes up to keep things entertaining for that, but for the sake of the video, I'm just going to go mode by mode. What nation is that? Inform! Inform! Wait! Oh, brother! What the hell is that? I'm not gonna lie! Hello, Mimetti! Van Dyke! I've skipped it. Van Dyke! Van Dyke! Van Dyke! Yes! <laughs> yes! Come on! Come on, Van Dyke! It's actually Van Dyke! Yeah! Rashford! Yes! Yes! Rashford! Now that the mini pack opening was out of the way, it's time to get into the trophies. Starting off with a very easy one for having a team with full chemistry. Ah, she gets us full chem. Yeah, the alchemist. 33 chemistry points. And then I may as well go get the other quick trophy. If I go to squad actions, custom tactics, do that. Save, bang. Trust me, I'm a manager. I'm like Pep, but better. I think it's also very clear at this point that I am very much a pack addict. So I was on my way to complete hybrid leagues and nations when I got my next trophy. So I worked. Oh, whoa! Squad building completionist! Completed 10 SBCs! At this point, I was almost ready to get grinding the longer trophies. But first of all, I had to bash out the classic moment trophy from last year. But I got an unexpected trophy beforehand. It does! We're in the game! Play a match with a squad that has players of both female and male leagues. I should get the trophy for the one star. Yep, yeah, one moment, please. Complete one moment in FIFA Ultimate Team. So a new thing added into Ultimate Team this year is evolutions. These allow you to put in a player and complete objectives with them to upgrade them and their stats. As it was early in the game, I actually used mine on Wambisaka, and for quite literally playing just one game with him, I completed his first evolution. The first Evo done for Wambisaka. Level up! Now I knew I had a big grind ahead of me in Division Rivals, so I started playing a few games there. More on that later, but for now I completed my second match, which meant I had fully upgraded my Wambasaka and completed his evolution. I finished the Wambasaka one, right? Graduation day, complete an evolution. Oh my god, that was a cool animation. I also happened to notice that I had a moment unlocked for scoring from a free kick. This is the perfect way to get this next trophy, as you can quickly restart if you miss, which I might have had to do a solid 20 times. Yes! Come on, dead ball specialist! Score a goal for a free kick! Boop, 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 boop. A new trophy this year was to reach the max level in a season, which requires quite a lot of XP and a fair amount of playing throughout the season, which usually lasts a month. I found out squad battle ranks actually give you quite a bit of XP each week, so I decided to play a lot of squad battles games. Although boring, it had to be done for another trophy regardless. Let's go. Oh, wait, what? Defensive boss class. Wait, we did the 10 clean sheets. I've only played nine games. As I was looking through the trophy list, I noticed there was two easy trophies I was missing tied to precision shooting and precision passing. After looking in the settings, I finally found out how to turn these on. This is a new way EA are trying to include to give you more control of your game, basically making things more manually aimed. So after scoring a quick goal and making a few passes, I got both of my trophies in the next game. Oh, there you go. Surgical aim, 25 precision passes. At this point, I'd done almost everything but played the game a lot. My next trophy was for earning enough points to qualify for foot champs. Very easy, just play a lot of division rivals, which you actually need to do anyway to get the milestone three for playing 90 games. I actually lost the footage from the milestone three trophy, but just know playing 90 games of division rivals came with a lot of highs. <laughs> Darwin Nunes. But also a lot of lows. Constantly as well. Advance. 
But we'll get to the big leagues. Enough foot champs qualification points. Sorry. Foot champs qualification points. And for everything you've seen throughout the entire video, I was also working on the longest trophy in the entire game. Right, here we go. 199 games played with Leah Williamson. If I just leave, we should. Record breaker. 200 club appearances with a single player. Club legend, Leah. And for the final trophy in Ultimate Team was to reach the highest level in a season. This is basically like a battle pass. You get rewards per level. Obviously, I did this in the first season, doing XP for playing games, winning games, using certain players, using certain leagues, certain teams, playing squad battles, div rivals, foot champs. You name it, I probably did it each week until I finally reached enough XP for playing my final game. So I just sat AFK against beginner squad battles because at this point, I just wanted my XP. When does the trophy pop is the question. End of the line. I reached the last level of a season objective. Now, it is the 15th of October. I have to wait until the 3rd of November until I can get the platinum. That's why this video is taking so long. So now let's move on to career mode. Let's start things off quickly with the manager career. The trophies this year are very, very quick for simply doing all activities before the next match. Boom. Do your homework. Pre-match report, training session and press conference before the match. Hiring an expert level coach in each area. This is a new addition to career mode. If you choose a big team like Real Madrid, it's really straightforward and quick. I could buy an expert. Oh wait, I could do it now. That's gonna cook, right? Yes, golden generation. Expert level coach in each department. Spectating a match in tactical view to jump in and score a goal. For the record, this sideline view is a great addition to the game. Free ball. Bang! Yeah! And now we move on to the player side of things. If anyone watched last year's video, yes, Fakir Afak is indeed returning with his beautiful pink afro. And obviously we had to make him look fly for our first player career trophy. Oh my god. Oh my god, he is looking so stylish. Oh my word. <laughs> Fashion icon. A group of face guy and a tattoo. Oh, the style points. So, dazzling personality is back from last year. However, the point requirement is significantly lower, making it a lot easier. As of editing, on the 2nd of November, there is a glitch to get it in about two seconds. However, I did not know this at the time, so I did it legit. Starting off this career, I went against Fakir's League 2 morals and went straight for Liverpool. This was to make another trophy easier, but first of all, I got a nice trophy in Fakir's 2024 debut. Oh my god. Power shot. Score a goal using power shot, I'm not gonna lie. That was a very fast power shot. For those of you who don't know what Dazzling Personality is, you have to reach Tier 3 Personality and have 75% in one department. Usually it was 75,000 points, but this year it was only 60,000. Why that is so bad is because you get about 100 to 300 points a match if you scored a hat-trick in Sim like I did. You get added bonuses from buying stuff which help massively and whatnot, but it was still a very long grind. So at the end of Season 1, we win the Europa League and win the Premier League with Liverpool. Yes! Woo! Fakir on his way! Oh my god! Oh, Europa League champions! Wee! Oh my god! Here we go. I've earned my new contract. Now, I'm, I'm joining Chelsea, okay? It's happening. Transfer. I'm taking my free agent's advice. There is a new addition to this year's career mode where you can now complete contract goals to change team. This leads to another trophy for taking your agent's advice and signing to a different club twice, which is why I chose Liverpool so I could easily move to a new club, this time being Chelsea. So we get to experience the Conference League and lift our next trophy. Oh, Conference League! Woo! We've gone from the Europa League to the Conference League. Next year is Champs League. Woo! As I said, it was time to move club again to not only fight for the UCL, but also get my trophy for moving teams. Until this happened. To Leverkusen. Transfer. Sign the dotted line. Bang. We're gone. In a bit. Now where's my trophy? Hello? As you saw, I did not get my trophy. This was because when looking at my options, I chose Chelsea and then Leverkusen to be my target teams, meaning I would basically only sign for them. However, this is not what you had to do for the trophy. You actually needed to wait until the end of the season and for your agent to come to you with offers, meaning I'd have to play another two seasons. 
But first of all, let's get Dazzling Personality. I hope to succeed. Oh, it is Dazzling Personality. Oh my god, this is back from last year. After that, I didn't want to waste time playing a whole two seasons as I needed a break. But I do also want to keep playing the Fakir career, so I thought the easiest thing to do was to start a new career with Jude Bellingham, aka the best player in the world right now, and just simulate two seasons and transfer to whatever team wanted me. And ironically, we ended up going full circle. Chelsea! Bang! Sign for Chelsea! They're allowing me! Yes! Pre precious advice! Big up my team agent, I don't know how I pulled off that. And just like that, career mode is done. Now let's also very quickly run over Volta 2 because, well, it only has four trophies in which all are pretty quick to get. First of which, just winning a match with three friends. You can search for randoms to get this, so it's actually quite easy and quick to do. And next up, to reach 90 overall with your avatar, if you play against a CPU and score five own goals, the game will end and you get skill points really quickly, making this easy to grab. Is it glitched for me? Oh, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. Okay. Thank God Volta's best reached 90 overall with your avatar. And the next trophy for buying 50 total items. Scummy trophy as last year. No chance I'm getting the coins normally. The grind is just too insane. So I got my wallet out and FIFA pointed it. However, there is an insane pro clubs grind, which is definitely the platinum blocker for most people, which you will see very soon. Because of this, I waited until after pro clubs so I could get as many free items as I could but there were still so many left. Oh my god, this should be the last one. Again, yay. Full wardrobe, unlock 50 different funny items. You've taken me FIFA points. Again, but I'm not playing this stupid mode, I refuse. Here we are for the pro clubs. Now this is about to be an insane grind and you're about to see why. But first of all, let me quickly run you through the team. For the mighty front three, starting on the left is Sandra herself, also known as Felix. Mighty dribbler when it comes to losing the ball, but at least she finishes when she gets through on goal. And next up front is the one and only me. Basically, a tall lanky prick who's there to try and stop the insane amount of headers you're going to see later in the video. And to finish off the mighty front three, on the right wing we have Doherty, aka Tom. Now he is the dribbler, goal scorer, playmaker, goat, let me tell you. And he sits on the captain, controlling those bots, making sure they're in order. And now in centre mid, we have the wild card, Hickenbottom or Ewan. He didn't play in the early stages, but that is the one player who does flick ups in the middle of the pitch and gets tackled a second later, thinking he's the GOAT. And finally, in CDM, we have Peterson or Matty, the absolute backbone of the team, absolutely controlling the midfield. And with that, we're ready to win some matches. But before we get into the stressful stuff, I could at least get an easy trophy for getting A rank in skill games. Saves Minge. Make the grade. Reach an A grade in a pro club skill game. Right, let's get things kicked off straight away with some beautiful football and the first goal for the club in our first game. Go on. Tom, <laughs> first goal for the club. <laughs> let's go. The knees wide, the old Thomas classic. scored the first goal. And it wasn't long before Doherty made a beautiful pass, allowing me to score my first goal for the club. I still go on. All the way, bang, yeah. bang. Yes, come on. Come on, big first goal. Man. Woo! Bosh. And a third to seal the win. Beautiful link up from the front to this entire game. Five star techers. Oh, I'm not the dribble guy. Thomas! Chip, chip. And just like that, we win our first game, which gives me the first and easiest of the Pro Clubs trophies remaining. Come on, first of many, win your first Pro Clubs league match, first of many indeed. At this point, we were just destroying game after game, even causing rage quits. Yes, team, we take goals. What a goal. <laughs> what a player. How did the keeper not see? Look at Min. Oh, yes, oh it's quick. Oh, oh, we're just that good. We're that good. As I said, we were destroying every game, making us 3 and 0. Oh. I thought we would just get promoted like last year, but it was slightly different this year round, as Doherty himself explains to me. This is where things get interesting. The next trophy I was going for was to get a club's promotion, but there is an even bigger trophy for reaching elite division, a new division above division 1. I'll get to that in a second, but first of all, let's find out how we get promoted. I need to win one out of three matches to actually go into the next division. Oh, I thought we were just going up. Right, well, we could do well, one in three. What the hell? That's so oh, yeah, piss. Yeah. And obviously, our winning streak wasn't going to end there as we go and win our next match, which gets us up into Division 4. Come on, we're going up. 
earn a club's league promotion. Did for We've not lost. We've not lost. And yet again, we were absolutely destroying a team, so it only seemed fitting to let Peterson get his first goal for the club after all of his hard efforts in the midfield. Well, Peterson's looking for his first goal for the club. I'm getting you it. I'm getting you it! Get it in! Yes! Finally! Come on! Yes! And I mentioned you would see the broken crosses in this game. That's because any game we lost was basically exclusive to crosses. Any time a team would play normally, we would win at least 99% of the time. But as soon as the team played like this, there was absolutely nothing we could do to stop it as we took our first loss. Well, let's see about the cross. Brilliant. It's in. Oh, yeah. Let's go on to more positive news. At this point, we were about 18 and 1, so we were absolutely flying through the ranks. And believe it or not, Hicking Bottom actually managed to score a goal for the club. Look at it, look at the headers. Look at the headers. It's so good. It's so good. Here he is. At this point, we were halfway through to Division 1, and I just wanted to give a record update to see how crazy this grind actually was. As you could see, even when we were winning basically every single game, it would still take so many matches to reach that elite division. 26 wins and 2 losses, oh my word. And after our third heartbreaking loss, I got my next trophy. As you heard me say earlier, Pro Clubs and Volta are linked together, meaning the XP I got in both modes transferred into one. Because of this, I reached level 7 purely from all of the Pro Clubs matches we played. Ridiculous. On the way up though, I reached level 7 in Volta or Clubs. At this point, we just kept winning and winning, grinding our way through the ranks when we finally reached the Elite Division promotion matches, when we found out how many games we would have to win to reach our goal of the Elite Division. How many do we have to win? 5 out of 5? Win 4 of 5? Oh, this is so easy. 4 of 5, we've done it. Let's just say our first attempt didn't go to plan. We drew one and lost one, meaning we failed promotion. Thankfully, the penalty was not actually too bad, and we were back again very quickly. Motion failed up yours, mate. And he drew. We lose nine points. That's not too bad. That failed attempt clearly brought some anger in the team, as we came back stronger than ever, playing some absolutely beautiful football. Also, first mention of Sandra, as Felix chose his misses over us at least 90% of the games we played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a ball. What a ball. Oh, you, Thomas. Oh, and again. Yes! Oh my god, I love this team. Oh man. <laughs> and here we go. Quick record update before we go into our final match for Elite Division. It got a little rough in Div 1 with all the meta teams, but here we are. Would we bottle under the pressure? Yep. Oh, win two of three. Safe to say, we won our next game. So all we had to do was win one of two games to reach Elite Division. And we hit it off strong in the 30th minute. We've had, we've had a good club session. Yeah. <laughs> and once we scored the first, more kept coming to win the game. And for the record, Sandra was 1 million percent offside in the next goal. But oh well, cue the goals. Go on. <laughs> He's offside. Is that on? He's on. He's on. I'm going to dribble through them all with yeah, unbelievable seconds. Hell yeah, you are. Hell yeah, you are. Oh, yeah, oh my god. Oh my god. We're Gattis, going Gattis, to Gattis, elite! Gattis. We're going to elite! <laughs> oh, we're up! We're up! Yes, top of the pyramid! Reach elite division! To all of you who have boosted it, shame on you. I have sat through this pain and I am in elite division. Come on! Season info. Oh my god, 59 wins, 9 draws, 16 losses. Good shift from the lads there. Well, right, let me talk about this next trophy, Championes. The reason this Platinum is unobtainable till the 3rd of November is because you need to get a trophy for winning a playoff game and also come top your playoff group. Now the playoffs don't start until the season ends, which for season 1, you guessed it, is the 3rd of November. Now coming top of the group will be insanely hard, but a kind man sent me a message telling me about a glitch where if you join a club called Club 13, you can pop the trophy without coming up top of the table as it was used as an EA test before release. So I did this glitch popping me a trophy, however we still need to win one club playoff match, which I will cut to after this trophy. Yes, I'm in, get in! You beautiful man, you beautiful man! Add Zios, let me go bring his up, PSN up. Add Zios, you go, you go, he's got me in the spot, yes! Oh my god, it did work! What the hell? Your, your club finished first! Finish the champions of the club playoff table! Well, that was easy. Cut forward to November 3rd. The Pro Club's playoffs started at 7am UK time, and before this trophy released, I was sat third fastest by quite some time. 
Since none of my friends would actually be awake at this time, and I wanted to attempt first platinum, it was time to call in John Callum. Make sure to go sub to him, he makes videos like mine. But spoiler alert, we didn't quite get first. We played a team that basically held the ball after going up, so we didn't even have a chance. But things went slightly differently in our second game. Oh, that works who need, too. Who needs a? Who needs yeah, a? Who needs a runner? Who needs a runner? Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Come on! Go on! Yes! Go on! <laughs> They've crumbled. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> and just like that, we won the game and got the plat. I managed to pop the trophy a measly second before John, so that made us 12th and 13th achiever. Uh, get through, walk the walk, we did it. We won the playoff match well in, John. And accolade collector, get in. Unlocked all trophies. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and also click on the screen for more.